welcome back to my channel in this tutorial it's gonna be like a glitz and glam holiday look I may make this a series of maybe three or four looks to do for the holidays but yeah let's start with this one this one's gonna be like a purpley sort of kind of colorful tone um I put up this background because I want my eyeshadow to resemble something like that um so yeah I did uh, dyed my hair back to red and chopped it all off. I missed my short hair. I missed my finger waves That's why my eyebrows are red. If you guys want to know how to do the red eyebrows I do have a tutorial for that. I will link it down below the products I use on my eyes to prime was the paint Shirley paint pot I use that as a base for my eyebrows and my eyeshadow That's my Mac then I use for my eyebrows underneath the red is the elf cream eyeliner in coffee i have not used the one in so this one in so long um these used to be three dollars a pop went up to five dollars a pop now i'm pretty sure they're up to six dollars a pop and for the red i'm using the nyx primal colors uh hot red eyeshadow which looks like this this is uh like i said nyx and it is discontinued um you could probably still find it on amazon or ebay but i know nyx doesn't have it on their site anymore and you can't find it in the stores anymore so if you guys can't get your hands on this you can use whatever red eyeshadow you have um this works out good for me because my hair is not red red it's actually magenta the color that i dye it but this topped on top of that brown um coffee eyeliner that i use underneath to make create my brows the two colors make the magenta color that it's in my hair so it works out for me you guys can use whatever eyeshadow you want it doesn't have to be the stuff that i use okay let's jump into it my eyeshadow i'm mean, sorry my eyes are already primed um i actually i'm thinking do i want to do my face first no, I do my eyebrows because I want to use glitter. My eyes. I do my eyes. So I want to do my eyes first. Um, I was thinking I was going to do my face, but glitter is going to go everywhere and I want to use glitter. Alright, so I had to decide what exactly I was going to use. I think I'm going to go into my... So I want to use the Ravina or the Warrior. You know, let me open this up and take a look at it. So I recently picked up the... Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. Let me get some others. So I want this to be kind of on the colorful side, but not like too outrageous because it still is a holiday look. But I want some pops of color, and I have no idea what to do with my my scissors. So I'll do whatever I can to get this sucker open. So the package looks like this. If you guys haven't picked it up yet, I am kind of late to the party. I don't know why, but like I went through a phase where when I first started YouTube, I was all about color. Then I went through a whole neutral phase. Now I'm going back into the color phase where I just want a whole bunch of colors on my face, like just slap me with a rainbow. Um, hmm. This is really pretty. You know what? I think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put the Norvina palette to the side, the volume one. Just in case I want some colors from there, but I think I'm gonna use this warrior 3 palette instead so the colors look like this It's actually really cute. I am gonna need some beauty tones though, so Let me whip out another one my gingerbread palette because I really like my gingerbread palette So I'm gonna use the gingerbread palette as well, which looks like that and that's by Too Faced So I'm gonna take a mix of both, you know See how this goes all right so from the extra spicy palette the gingerbread extra spicy palette from Too Faced I am going to go ahead and take the color soft and sweet as a good all-over color so you know what I'm gonna move you guys in so soft and sweet would be that color right there Holy pigment. I think I'm going to do one eye on camera and then the other one off to save my battery of my camera. And on top of that, it overheats. It drives me crazy. I'm actually in the process of looking for a new camera. So if you guys have any recommendations, just leave them down in the comments and I'll check them out. Alright, so moving on to my next color. 
I'm actually going to take this Kahina shade. Yeah, Kahina. Which is that color right there. Yeah, I'm going to pop that right in here. And blend it out. Then I'm going to go back with the other brush and I'm just going to blend the colors together. Make sure there is no harsh edges. Alright, I think I'm going to put like a subtle pop of yellow right here. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, something like this. And I'm going to go into the yellow in the palette. Nazinga. Right there. I'm really horrible at saying his name, guys, so I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put that right here. Now, as you can see, I'm just going back and forth with the brushes to make sure that everything is seamless. So, I like that. That little pop of yellow right there. Taking a different brush, I'm going to go ahead and go into the purple in the palette. I think this is a good size. And the purple in the palette is called Candice. So, that's that color right there in the middle. Alright guys, so I had to do my other eye off camera because my camera starts to overheat at 6 minutes for some reason. I don't know what the hell is going on with my camera, but it's driving me nuts like I said. So I did this whole eye off camera while my camera was cooling down. Now I'm just going to show you how I completed it on this one. So um, after we put those colors down, I went in with Candace. This was right before my camera decided to die. Um, I went in with Candace and that is that purple shade right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and really put that in my outer portion of my eye when my kids are home from school they're actually home for the next two days um so they're making noise in the background of course even though i say mommy's filming you have to be quiet but that just goes right over their head because as soon as they start playing the video game, it's a freaking zoo. Alright, for some reason, it's like these colors, I don't know if it's the Too Faced formula mixed with this formula, they're not blending well together. So I'm just like, I'm blending, but I'm also patting so it doesn't look patchy. My big brush. I'm going to deepen it a little more right here. I'm just going to pack it on in that area. You see what I mean? Do you see that dark line that just happened? It's like, I'm trying to pack it here, but it's gravitating over there for some reason. So I just have to keep on like blending it out. So I'm just going to leave it right there for now. I'm going to go ahead and fix that later. I'm going to take a concealer. I'm just using a Maybelline concealer um, in the color light. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand like that. It's just this concealer because I'm going to create like a sort of cut crease kind of like this one. I'm just taking a flat brush. And I'm going to start to lay this on top of my lid. First, I'm starting up here. And then I'm going to look up. See where it lands. There. I'm just going to blend it out. This little area over here doesn't matter too much because we're going to put purple right on top. Alright, so now that you have your little line laid out like that. Oh, energy. Um, every time 
I dye my hair because of the chemicals my scalp starts to itch. Could be allergic to it, but does that mean I'm going to stop? Nope. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this Maybelline, uh, Maybelline, Milani eyeshadow in Bella Khaki. And it's like this dark army sort of green color like that but it has like a metallic sheen so I'm gonna pack that on first <laughs> and I really like the way these colors are flowing together it reminds me of fall Get it as close to the line as possible and then I'm gonna go with a small detailing brush to get all those little places that I missed. Alright, about there is good. I'm gonna go back into my Warrior palette and I'm gonna take the color Congo, which is that blue color right there, and I'm gonna put it on my brush and spray it with some NYX Dewy Setting Spray. I'm going to lay it right on top of that green. And I'm not going too close to the line. So now I'm going to go back into that purple shade, Candice, and I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Alright, now going back into that purple shade, I'm going to load up my brush again, Candice, but I'm taking that bigger brush and I'm going to put it right here in the corner, just packing it on. color is really driving me nuts how it's just like lifting up so I'm gonna go back in with this is how I fix the other side hopefully it works with this one I'm gonna go back in with this brush put a lot of that purple color on there and I'm just gonna stamp it on the areas that became patchy it's not perfect that right there, that's as good as it's going to get because I have to put on my eyeliner. Um, but before I do, I'm going to take some more of the purple and I'm going to go underneath my eye. Alright. I'm going to take some new, a new pencil. This is my Rimmel pencil. I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I always put my eyeliner on before my glitter. Because I find if I try to do it after, the eyeliner looks all lumpy. And I don't like that. And I'm just going to put on my glitter. So the glitter I used actually came in the Anastasia little loose glitter kit. The packaging is so freaking cute. Oh, so I'm going to put it back together. So it looked like this. It has like little snowflakes and stuff on it. It's super cute. As you can see, I took one out. And the adhesive that comes in there because that's the one I used. Um, so the adhesive looks like this and this is the glitter I chose because it has that greenish tint, the greenish bluish tint and that one is called mistletoe. So what I did is I just used a little brush that came here. I just wiped off the excess. It looks like a nail polish but it smells good. It smells like perfume. 
Um, so I'm just going to put that on the areas where I want and I don't want it to be too much. Like that. Then I'm just going to take some of the glitter and pack it on. This little tool that I'm using actually came in a Moda brush um, set that I got from Walmart. It's like neon something. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes, which is going to be the I Envy Lashes by Kiss in So Wispy number 7. Okay, so now my eye is done. I'm just going to go ahead and take a wipe and clean up underneath it. take some more of that blue Congo color and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner down here okay so that is it for the eyes I'm gonna be back to the face okay so I went ahead and cleaned up my desk because it was a damn mess so I'm just gonna go ahead and push this and take off my earrings because they're just going to be in my way. And I'm going to prime my face using my Milk Hydro Grip Base Primer. So this is a little sample size. I did go ahead and buy the big one because I like the little one so much. I did get that one. But I'm not opening until this one. So I'm going to go ahead and bump. And rub that all in. And this is amazing. You know it's ready when it feels tacky. You see? I'm actually going to use Juvia's foundation today. This is my first time trying it. I am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. So it looks like this. Honestly, the fact, this could be a little bigger. This to me is a little bit small. It's a cute color though, but I, I feel like it could be a little bigger. I hope I got the right color. The shade I picked up was Capri 630. I was swatching. One seemed too yellow, one seemed too pink. I was like, eh, I'll just get this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I got to take off the little silver thingy. So from what I heard, a little goes a long way. I feel like this is way too much that I just put out on my hand. So, eh. <laughs> I think I put too much. I definitely put too much on my hand. I can't tell how it looks in the camera, but in person, looking in my mirror, it looks like I got a pretty good shade. Okay, so I have all the foundation on. It seems like it's okay. Um, I do like the finish of it. It is very matte. I'm having a little bit of texture problem on the lower half of my face. I've been dealing with it for about two weeks now. Um, I'm working on it, but it's really because it's so matte is showing all of the bumps that I have. So yeah, other than that, I do like the finish of it. It is really, really good. It's like as if I don't even need to set it with powder, but of course I'm going to set it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and use the concealer as well, Juvia's, in number 20. Okay, so I got all this concealer blended out. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use the airspun for all the places I put the concealer and the Stay Matte Rimmel Powder for the places I did not. This one is in the shade Extra Translucent.
to contour my face I'm gonna use this Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder so that looks like All right, so my um, face has been baking for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just dust all the powder off. And I kind of messed up my contour a little bit right here because I didn't notice that the, the brush that I used, I guess it had some black eyeshadow on it. I don't know how that happened, but it kind of put black, but I tried to blend it out. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. For my brush, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morph palette, and this one doesn't have a name. A War Master 8W. What says in the back? So I'm going to go ahead and take MUA, which is that color right there. I'm going to blend some of that out. And from my blush, I'm not my blush, my highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ofra palette uh, from Nikki Tutorials, the highlighting trio. And I'm going to use Glazed Donut. And I just picked this up. It's so cute. It looks like this. And it's not really new to the market, but I didn't have it. So it's new to me. So I'm going to use Glazed Donut. I tried to get it as an individual, but they didn't have it. So I'm like, I'll just get... Um, trio I'm not sure how this is gonna pick up with this brush we'll try oh okay And I'm going to get my inner corners with this as well. Right here. And I'm going to put it pretty wide. So it's like extending out from the yellow that I put down earlier. And I'm also going to pop this underneath my brow. Okay. My lash glue is fully dry, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara, and I'm going to re-darken up my brows with the red, because some of the powder got on my brow and kind of faded it out. For my mascara, I'm just going to use my favorite right now, which is still the Total Temptations Mascara by Maybelline. And I'm also going to put this on my bottom lashes as well. So now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. And I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix um, Setting Spray. And it just comes in this little purple bottle. Okay, now I'm just going to do my lips. So for my lips, I'm going to use my NYX Prune Lip Liner and my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Tea and Cookies. So I'm going to use this. Okay, new lipstick time. All 
Alright guys, so I am back. The look is complete. I hope you guys like how it turned out. It's very colorful, but not like too over the top colorful, at least not for me. Um, this is a look that's definitely for people who love colors. So this is the perfect holiday look. If you know your outfit is going to be super colorful and fly for Thanksgiving or even Christmas Eve. So, yeah, um, I do think it came out cute. I like the whole color scheme went with my background, and I found a scarf to match as well. Um, and as you can see, my hair is looking. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm super, super excited that I got my red hair back with my finger waves, and it's super short because this is what I feel like me. Like, when it's growing out, I'm in a stage where I just hate how I look. I avoid mirrors, blah, blah, blah. But when my hair is super short, I love it um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please like and as always thank you for watching